Okay, this is Tom. I'm going to make a kind of a low quality iPhone video here on what I did to fix my furnace. So basically, I have a Lennox 80MGF2 or something like that. Um, I turned the furnace on, noticed the house wasn't getting warm. So I came down, turned it on again. I could hear a little blower running, but this is where all the heat comes out. So I touched right here carefully and it was cold. So I knew something was wrong because the furnace wasn't igniting. So basically to get into it here, um, I did read some manuals and things, try to figure out how it works, but the fix was easy. It cost me zero dollars. So I figured I'd share this with you. So on my furnace, there's a switch that cuts the power. And then basically, um, these are a little bit loose because I just took them out, but take these two screws out in the top. Another one over here. Okay. So the door comes off. Here's my great furnace. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to see because of the lighting down here. I'll see if I can turn the light on. So basically, the iPhone won't run the light and the camera at the same time as far as I know. But So what's going on here is this little fan right here, you can see it kind of spin, circulates or helps evacuate some of the combustion air. So there's a little red hose right here, you can just barely see it that runs from the fan down to this pressure switch. So basically, um, before the furnace starts, it makes sure that that switch is open because it should be even the fan's not on. Then it turns the fan on and that fit that switch should close because you should get a little pressure coming down this tube to that sensor. If it sees that, it, it allows the um, igniters to work. So all I did was simply pull this hose off by hand. And I just basically blew in this with my mouth and I noticed absolutely no air would go through it. So I figured it was clogged. So basically up on this end, it's kind of hard to see here, I'm sorry, but pull this off and there's a little tiny black port right here. Found a piece of wire like this and I just jammed it down in that hole and it was kind of clogged up I had to push a little bit I felt the clog break away it was probably um, a little piece of rust that accumulated over the summer or whatever so I put the tube back on I'm supposed to wire tie it which I probably will and that fixed my furnace for zero dollars Hopefully if this happens to you, you can do the same thing. Thanks.